lately, WWDC have announced iOS 15, which is allowed today we can install in our phone. So I have been installed iOS 15 today, which is it's up to date today. So it's currently iOS 15 now. So iOS 15 is slightly more like Android phone. So it's more likely you can drop different boxes around your screen, which is allows you to do different kinds of things. Maybe you can add shortcuts or watch weather or adding notes or whatever shortcut you want to do. So you can have more flexibility to do whatever you want on your phone. So before I have did online class, which is allows us teacher to share the links to students. So which is the link we can join to the class. So now FaceTime allows us to do that. So we can share the links to anyone, any people. So the links has allowed to Android phone, maybe iPad, Mac, iPhone, any kind of software you are in, you can join the meeting. So now FaceTime has add more features on it. So sharing the links is allowing to all the people who want to join the meeting or the class. So it's more likely a Zoom call or a Teams call. So these two software which is Apple can download it and Android can download it. And now we have more feature on FaceTime. Watching movie together or listen music together or share your screen which is the Zoom and the Teams allows us to do as well. So I think the FaceTime has catch up a bit like Teams. And now more likely it's the same as Teams and Zoom just adding more feature on FaceTime which is grid view which is you can view different people and different grid and now we have a new feature of mic mode which is reducing the background noise and focusing on the people who is talking to a camera so if your background is noisy it can reduce the noise a lot as I said you can share the FaceTime link so you can schedule it and put it on your calendar. That's easier for Apple users who use Apple Calendar and who use Apple FaceTime. So that's easier for the people who is using Apple ecosystem. So now we have a brand new feature which is focus. So if you want to go to sleep, you won't get any notification. You want to go to work, you can tap work and you won't get any message or WeChat or any kind of random stuff like sending through your phone. And if you are doing personal things, you can tap personal, which you won't get any message. So now we have another new feature, which is notification, which is you can set your summary of your notification, which is if you have an email, which can make a group of emails and you can tap it and you will expand and you can see all the emails that you have so that's very useful and I'm using it like right now so that's a good feature for mostly everyone so I believe that most of the people will use notification summary and there's coming another feature which is improving on maps which allows you to view the city or view the building better and another features which is new driving features which is allows you to view the map better 2d or 3d perspective so you can view what's in front of you or what you are going through so if you are going on the bridge as here and you can see a bridge in front of you on your phone so there's a new public transportation features which has allowed us to view the buses and train and the time so you know where the buses is coming and where the buses are going and what's the time of the buses so so that's good for people who are catching bus catching train so that's easier and better for students or workers. So now we have brand new Safari bar so you can select 
default at the bottom or you can customize in the setting which is can customize at the top so that's easier for people who get used to it before iOS 14 so you can move to the top or you can use a default by moving to the bottom as iOS 15. So we have another brand new feature which is live text. So which is you can take a name card or your business card and you can take a photo of it and you can select a text on the business card and it will select and copy to another places which is you can copy to a note or email or some secondary software and as you see you can take a photo of a number and you can call the number by tapping the number on the photo so that's very useful for some people who are kindly lazy so they don't want to press the phone call and press 415555 so you can just tap on the photo and call the people you want and that's easier for people who are lazy and this feature only allows on iPhone 11 and 12 so I'm using iPhone 10 here I'm not allowed to use this feature which is live text so if you are using below iOS 11 you are not getting any this feature so it's a downside and there's another brand new features which is weather and allows us to view more about so as you see you can see more details of the weather so it's great so this is a good features for the people who is checking weather on daily basics so as me I'm checking weather every day because you know I ride back to school I walk to school sometimes and I take bus so I must check the weather before I go out and that's very important for students and workers who is taking transportation mostly and that's very important so this is up to date for iOS 15 and as always thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one